I'm reviewing the Xiphon YT2000 motorized pan and tilt camera mount with built-in tracking feature. And coming in at such a low price on Amazon, I'm not too optimistic about it. But let's check this beast out. Inside the box, we have a large white boxy remote, a cheap phone holder, a little folded page of instructions, and the unit itself, weighing in at about two pounds and taking up as much space as your camera and a lens. The overall build quality looks really nice and feels solid. It has a built-in camera for tracking and a switch on the front for off, remote, and tracking. On the back, it has a level and an input to connect to the camera for a remote shutter. Under that is a USB-C charge port to charge the rechargeable battery, and on the bottom is a large grippy base that has a quarter inch thread mount for a tripod. All right, let's see what this thing can do. It mounts to a tripod nicely and the level in the back helps make sure it's nice and straight. I can tell right away that this is gonna be a problem. There shouldn't be any play here at all or you're gonna see a lot of camera shake in your footage. I tried to tighten the side Allen bolts but they only moved a little bit so maybe the weight of the camera will keep it from moving too. Okay, I got the remote synced to the unit. It was a matter of selecting the same channel on the remote and the unit so that was pretty fast. The other adjustment is the speed in the pan and tilt. The default setting is way too fast, so I turned it down to about four so the movements are nice and slow. I'm gonna take it out to get some sample shots and see what we come up with. As you can see, the unit appears to be pretty smooth at times, but for the most part, it's pretty jittery and it has a huge jump when it tilts past halfway. I tried to center my camera on the slide mount better and it helped a little, but it's still jumping at the same point, which makes it unusable for long tilt shots like this one. I tried taking the mount off the tripod and setting it on a flat surface, but the movements were still just as jittery. I also tried some 60 frames per second footage to slow down and post. Finally, I got to the part that I really wanted this unit for, and that was the tracking feature. Turn the control to tracking function and simply put up the little OK hand gesture for the camera to detect you. It's pretty quick to pick you up and starts moving with you right away, but it seems to follow you smoothly when you're moving faster. It's pretty jerky when you're making any slow movements. It is pretty cool how it'll follow you 360 degrees around the tripod if you're not too close to the camera. Maximum distance is about 8 to 10 feet and then it totally loses you, but picks you back up the second you come into range. Judging by how the unit's movements were so inconsistent and jittery at times, I wasn't expecting too much when I brought the sample footage back into post. I put a warp stabilizer effect on some of the shots in Premiere Pro to see if it helped smooth out some of the clips. I was actually a little surprised that some of the samples turned out pretty smooth. Here's some more sample clips after exporting them out of Premiere. If you like this video and it helps you out at all, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any similar product reviews and tips on how to create amazing content from all your outdoor adventures. It's hard to tell with this thing if it just doesn't work all the time or maybe it needs to be used a little bit more. I think I'll hold on to it and try it out a few more times, but I think it's just a case of someone coming up with a really good concept but not working the bugs out before releasing it. I'll keep my eyes open for any future updates to this unit or see what someone else might come up with. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this budget camera mount or if you're having better luck with a similar device. Until then, I'll see you again in the great digital outdoors.